In this time, I will show you how to crochet spiral element for free form or Irish lace technique. As you can see, this element made of woolen block stitches. This spiral element made of wolf yarn and here how it looks made of variegated yarn. And by the end of this tutorial you will know how to connect two elements together with help of reverse single crochet trim. Let's begin the work. For work you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and work a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Make a chain. Make 10 single crochet stitches into the ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have done 10 single crochet. Work a slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round. First round is made. Let's begin round 2. It is going to be a round of boolean block stitches. Then I will crochet by spiral direction. Make a chain to bring up the yarn. Yarn over the hook. We skip the next stitch. Insert the hook into the next stitch. I insert the hook into the back loop and make half double crochet. Then yarn over the hook. Make three strings around the half double crochet one. Two. And three. Then insert the hook into the stitch that came out of the half double crochet and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. And make a chain. The first boolean block stitch is ready. Then I will crochet boolean block stitches around the double crochet. For this, double crochet into the next back loop and now boolean block stitch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then insert the hook into the stitch that came out of the double crochet, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through and make a chain. The second one is ready and you should crochet in this way till the end of this round. In total it should be 10 of them, 2 are done, we need to crochet 8 more. You should crochet bull and block stitches around the double crochet till the end of this row. I have done 10 boolean block stitches. I did last boolean block stitch into the slip stitch that I did 
in the previous round. I did into the back loop and I will crochet by spiral direction. Let's look at our boolean block stitch. As you can see, boolean block stitch has two tops. First one is the top of the double crochet, and the second one, this is the top of the boolean block stitch. Then you will see a chain. I'm not going to work with chains in next time. I will work with these two tops and work with back loops of these tops. First one and the second back loop. Continue the work. We skip chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the back loop of the half double crochet by making double crochet and make bull and block stitch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then insert the hook into the stitch that came out of double crochet, pull up a loop, pull through and make a chain. Then double crochet through the next back loop. Make double crochet. And bull and block stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook into the stitch that came out of double crochet, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through, make a chain. I stop here. I mark the first stitch of this row. I count to the right one, two. I mark the second stitch away from the first stitch marker. We continue crocheting, we skip the chain stitch and double crochet into the next back loop. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook into the stitch that came out of double crochet, pull through, make a chain. As you can see these holes, how to remove them I show you later. You should crochet in this way till the first stitch marker. I have done bull and block stitches till the first stitch marker. As you can see these small holes, you should crochet reverse single crochet trim. We we'll continue the work. I'm going to make bull and block stitches around the treble crochet and double treble crochet stitches. Make treble crochet. We we'll skip chain stitch and treble crochet into the back loop of the stitch of the previous round. Make yarn over pull up a loop seven times. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. Make a chain and treble crochet into the next back loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert the hook into the back loop, then yarn over, pull through, and make a chain. Then double treble crochet stitch into the next back loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then insert the hook into the back loop, yarn over. Pull through, make a chain, then double treble crochet stitch into the next back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop nine times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then insert the hook into the back loop, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. Make a chain. We continue the work. I remove the stitch marker. Let's count to the left. One, two, three. Insert the stitch marker between third and fourth bullion block stitch. And we can continue. Chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook into the stitch that we did bullion block stitch into by working a slip stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch make a chain yarn over the hook insert the hook into the loop by working half double crochet yarn over pull up a loop three times one, two, three. Then insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, then pull through. Make a chain. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, five times one, two, three, four, five. Then insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through, make a chain. You should crochet these stitches till the stitch marker. I have done bull and block stitches till the stitch marker. Then I will crochet in the same way as I did on the opposite side. Then I will crochet bullion block stitches twice around the treble crochet and two bullion block stitches around double treble crochet stitch. I will begin and you will continue by yourself. We 
skip the chain stitch and make treble crochet into the next loop one two three four five six seven then insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop then yarn over and pull through make a chain then treble crochet and two double treble crochet stitches as you remember we did two boolean block stitches around double treble crochet stitch then I will crochet a round of reverse single crochet stitches. We don't do the joining, we just make a trim. Make a chain. Make reverse single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Except the chain stitch so continue working in this way till the end of this round If you would like to join to other motif, so we crochet in other way. So we take the other motif, pull up the working loop, Remove the hook, insert it into the reverse single crochet. Take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain and reverse single crochet into the each stitch except the chain stitch that is between two boolean block stitches. We have done the joining, here how it looks. You should crochet, reverse single crochet till this point. I have done reverse single crochet till this point. We skip the chain stitch. Insert the hook into the free loop by working reverse single crochet. Insert the hook into the chain space by working reverse single crochet five times. One. Two, three, 
4 and 5 and we can continue reverse single crochet into the each stitch except the chain stitch that is between woolen block stitches let's stop and look at the work and you should crochet reverse single crochet till this point I have done reverse single crochet trim till this point now I will join to the other motif I don't work with this chain stitch now I will join to this motif insert the hook into the reverse single crochet I insert the hook into two loops take the working loop pull it through I skip the chain stitch and I will work with three loops here are they I remind you that we will skip the chain stitches that are between woolen block stitches insert the hook into the free loop by working reverse single crochet I skip the chain stitch and work with next free loop and so on let's look what we have I remind you we have done the joining in two points you should crochet reverse single crochet till the beginning of the spiral motif you should work with each stitch in the center here how it looks in the ready motif We have done reverse single crochet trim or if it's difficult for you you can sew them together I remind you these motifs were made of woolen block stitches around different tall stitches also in tutorial 18 of reform technique we have learned how to crochet other kind of such motif this is the second example how they look and this is the third example here how it looks made of variegated yarn This is motif join it together. Thanks for watching.